So lots of people right now are talking about the MTHFR mutation. It is very popular. A lot of people are getting MTHFR testing. And based on that, they're deciding to start to take methyl folate. Now, this can be a disaster. And I know it was for me way back in the day before I understood genetics and how complex the methylation pathway is. I thought I had MTHFR mutation and started to take methyl folate and methyl B12. And I caused myself to have severe, severe anxiety and to be very, very manic. And that is because MTHFR is a very small piece of the genetic puzzle. And we do not want to go just off of that. The methylation pathway is quite complex. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to look at some of the methylation pathways, some of the other gene mutations. And if you're just adding in methyl donors based on one mutation, you can cause a lot more harm than good. So let me share my screen. We'll go over um, one of these pathways here. So when we're looking at this pathway, we can see MTHFR is over here. And this cycle itself is methylation. And this is where methylation happens. Methylation actually happens at SAMe methylation. You can see it right there. It's donating the methyl group and that's where the detoxification happens. So that could be, you know, proteins, lipids, DNA, uh, toxins. There are so many things that are um, detoxified through methylation. We actually uh, turn off viruses through methylation. We can inactivate cancer genes. So methylation is very, very important. We want to be functioning properly, but we don't want to go off of one gene over here when this is a very complex cycle of converting uh, SAMe into SAH and then into homocysteine. And homocysteine needs to be recycled back into methionine. And MTHFR is one of the enzymes along with MTR and MTRR that recycle it back to methionine. But we also have another mutation here called BHMT, which also recycles it back to methionine. Now, for a lot of people, they see the MTHFR mutation, they start supplementing, and they do no other labs and they start to feel a lot worse. And this often happens in children where uh, parents think they have uh, MTHFR, they start giving them methylfolate. We see a lot of behavioral issues, anger, temper tantrums, um, you know, it could even escalate to uh, violence, hitting pets, hitting other children. We can see a lot of anxiety, fear-based reactions, because again, this is a very small part of the picture. Now, there's really two things that play a role here, and that's the COMT mutations and the CBS mutations. Now, for somebody like myself, I am COMT++, and plus plus just means there's two mutations on that gene that's affecting this enzyme, and it either is going to make the enzyme go faster or slower. So when it comes to COMT, two mutations there means the enzyme is not working very fast, and I'm prone to very high levels of dopamine. And if you start to give me more MTHFR, uh, MTHF, so methylfolate, you're gonna drive this pathway and cause me to um, create more dopamine. I don't like more dopamine, I need less dopamine. And this happens to a lot of um, people when they take methylfolate, they start to have anxiety, anger, mood swings, all of these fun things. Uh, to, for me, it actually drives me into a very manic stage um, and it can last days. Uh, thankfully, I know this. And now if I'm trying to make myself manic, it's it's for a purpose. Normally I have to clean a lot or, you know, pack or uh, do a lot of podcasts or something. And I, I need my dopamine to be a little bit higher. But most of the time I'm driving my dopamine down. And it's the importance of seeing these other mutations. We want to know uh, your monoamine oxidase status. How well are are you breaking down your serotonin? How well are you breaking down your dopamine? Now, there's also another mutation over here called CBS, and this is where transsulfuration happens. And this isn't the greatest picture, but homocysteine is converted to cystathionine, to cysteine, and that is then converted to taurine or glutathione, and the excess sulfites um, are going to be metabolized to sulfate. Now, this then leads into the ammonia pathway over here and is then detoxified. So it all works together in a very elaborate grand scheme. And if you have a active CBS mutation and you only tested this 
MTHFR and you start taking methylfolate, you are going to drive transsulfuration. You are going to produce a lot of taurine. Your ammonia levels are going to go through the roof. It is also going to present with uh, brain fog, mood swings, trouble concentrating, uh, ADD type symptoms, lethargy, aches, pains, all those kind of things. So MTHF, supplementing with methylfolate, or if you have mutations here on MTR and just supplementing with methyl B12 is not advised unless you look at this entire cycle. You need to check your homocysteine levels. If you have a CBS mutation, you need to get a methylation panel, which I'll do um, another video on that at one point, I'm trying to catch up on some of these video topics that people have been asking me for. So we want to get a methylation panel if there's a low homocysteine and an active CBS. It's very important. That has its own protocol. If you have an active CBS mutation, you need to lower your sulfur and your ammonia and you need to work on that. So please don't just go off of MTHFR, get proper testing, get proper customized supplements for your body, for your brain, for your detox pathways. If you are looking for a practitioner, go to my website, www.sgintegrativehealing.com. I can get you these labs and we can get you those customized protocols.